This is Twit. Samsung announces new unbreakable display that survives punishing UL certification. Quote, writes Andrew Martonic, this is the direction the industry is heading. And um, so Samsung this is a good claims. Direction to head. Absolutely. So uh, Samsung claims an unbreakable display uh, has UL uh, underwriter laboratory certification to go along with that. Um, so instead of trying to harden glass over the top of the screen, they've used a uh, substrate, a flexible OLED substrate, and uh, that is, quote, designed to not give out with repeated impact. Um, so it's, a, it's like a fortified plastic. Um, this is, uh, you know, basically they're using plastic instead of glass directly over uh, the panel and uh, the OLED panel, which is interesting. Um, they say the, it's the transivity, uh, or transmissivity, transmissivity, yeah, I'm saying that right. Uh, basically how well light gets through it and the hardness is very, very similar to glass. Um, but it is much more flexible. So the UL testing uh, included uh, 26 successive four-foot drops without damage. Uh, it also apparently continued working in extreme temperatures. Samsung notes, writes uh, Mr. Martonic, that uh, <laughs> the panel was also tested for drops at six feet, well above the current standard test, quote, without issue, unquote. So. Yeah, I'd be very interested to see how this uh, kind of material holds up against like just scratches on the surface because mm -hmm. that's the reason that you go harder on a display is you're, yeah. you know you're trying to be hard a harder surface than the things that might potentially rub up against them like your car keys and stuff like that. So I mean they're saying it's your similar. Change. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. If somehow they can if they can get similar to uh, you know to an actual glass surface, then that's that's going to be pretty dang good. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I want. I wonder, like, if the smartest way might not be to have like a kind of like a softer display, but then just have like some sort of an integrated, like almost like a screen protector, but just something that's replaceable, like a replaceable upper layer of the thing, right? Because you know, because what you get now is the whole display is sort of like a a, right. a a more solid, like harder material. So that when it does crack, it's just all over, right? It's just you just have to replace. The whole thing. I don't. Um, I don't want to say what I'm about to say, but this is part of this. Is also the problem is well, I, I said it like 32 times last week. It was kind of like the Greek chorus of this week in computer <laughs> hardware, which was this is you know the problem is uh, this is this is the problem when you keep making things too thin. Um, if you click, there's a great picture. If you click through the link at the top of the Android Central article to the Samsung press announcement, where they're showing the actual screen. Yeah, being yeah, and they're just like and, uh, they're just bending it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's it's definitely impressive that they can do that with that screen, and it's still working and everything. So, yeah, you know, they're kudos to them. Flexible OLED panel, unbreakable substrate, and an overlay window securely adhered to it. So, not a glass covered window, a uh, a fortified plastic window. Yeah, I I think yeah. I think you've got the big uh, I think you've got the big question. Uh, is 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 it going to scratch up? Are you going to have to polish your phone every couple of months like an old watch crystal? Um, and and honestly, that wouldn't be too bad either. Like I'd settle <laughs> for something that I'd settle for scratches that could be buffed out versus right. the only way to fix this is to replace it, right? Yeah. Like that's you know, yeah. I was yeah I was I was laughing, uh, you know. Uh, the the UL testing basically they were working off a mil spec uh, standard that which they don't name in the press announcements uh, like a U.S. Department of Defense standard, um, but they're really proud of that. You know, even in a subsequent 1.8 meter, nearly six feet drop test, significantly higher than U.S. military standard, Samsung displays unbreakable panel operated normally with no sign of damage. And I I shouldn't really mock because I'm actually pretty excited about this. Um, Given the number yeah. of screen protectors and screens I've broken, uh, I probably shouldn't make fun.